Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about melatonin. I'm going to talk to you about oral melatonin, but I'm also going to talk to you about topical melatonin. I made a recent video, and it was my nighttime skincare routine video, and I mentioned that I use both of these as part of my anti-aging skincare routine. And it really sparked a lot of interest, especially the topical melatonin. I think it's because most people didn't even realize that topical melatonin was out there. And as a matter of fact, it's something that I just recently learned about myself. And it was because I was doing some research on oral melatonin because I've been taking oral melatonin for a very long time. And I never actually did the research to make sure it was something that I should be taking or if it was okay for me to be taking. And, um, and so I really wanted to do that research. I knew that it was a natural sleep aid and I knew that it was naturally found in our bodies, but that was the extent of it. So, um, so as I'm doing my research on the oral melatonin, that's when I stumbled across the topical. And when I started to read more about the topical melatonin, I realized that it was definitely something that I needed to make part of my anti-aging skincare routine. And so that's what I have done. So in this video, I'm basically going to tell you what melatonin is, um, why it's good for us, and how I how I use it every day as part of my you know anti-aging skincare routine. So let's go ahead and jump in. Melatonin is actually touted for and referred to as our body's most efficient. A free radical scavenger because of its ability to kind of control oxidative stress. And if you don't know what oxidative stress is, oxidative stress is when there is an imbalance between the production of free radicals and your body's ability to fight, neutralize, and stop and repair those free radicals. And if you don't know what a free radical is, um, I'm going to give you a quick little biology, um, I don't know what it would be called, <laughs> biology lesson in free radicals. But, um, and what free radicals are, are cells that were once healthy that are no longer healthy because they've been damaged. And oftentimes they're damaged by just a variety of factors, a lot of them being environmental factors, some of which are um, stress, pollution, cigarette smoke, alcohol, toxins, viruses, fungus, pesticides, all these things um, are responsible for damaging our cells and causing free radicals. So what happens is you have a good cell and it's a healthy cell, then it's damaged and it loses some electrons. Well, in order to try to complete itself and to fix itself, it tries to steal electrons from neighboring cells. And that starts this domino effect that, um, that just starts to wreak havoc on our skin. And that's why we get the fine lines and the wrinkles. So it's, it's um, the responsibility of antioxidants to come in and stop that domino effect and stop the free radicals from just wreaking havoc on our skin and inside of our bodies. So antioxidants are so, so important when it comes to skincare and just overall health in general. So that is where melatonin comes in as a very powerful antioxidant with anti-inflammatory properties as well as immune properties. It protects both lipids and proteins against damage and it can scavenge the most dangerous free radicals in the body, um, including free radicals that lead to cancer, which I found to be extremely interesting. Now, I did not do enough research on that topic, on, on the topic of how melatonin helps prevent or aid and assist in, um, in defending against, you know, uh, degenerative diseases, some of which the ones that were mentioned, the ones that I remember were cancer, Alzheimer's, stroke, and diabetes. I know that those four were, were definitely mentioned. Um, like I said, I don't have enough information to share that, that side of it with you. Um, that would be really, really complicated. I don't know if I want to take on uh, that role. So, um, But if you do have somebody in your life who suffers from any of those, then you might want to do some research on melatonin and how me what kind of role melatonin plays in those types of diseases because some of the stuff that I was reading was extremely interesting. Anyways, but let's move along. So the point is that the body uses antioxidants to just soak up free radicals like a sponge and basically stop the domino effect from continuing, like I said, to just wreak havoc on your body inside and out. So the more antioxidants that your body has available to it, the less damage will be caused by free radicals. So basically more antioxidants equals less free radical damage, which is a very good thing. Okay, so why do I take melatonin? Uh, unfortunately, as we get older, just like everything else, <laughs> you know, all these wonderful things come along with age, don't they? But as we get older, um, our body produces less melatonin. So we have lower levels 
of melatonin in our body, which kind of stands to reason. It, I mean, it makes sense as to why whenever we're younger, we sleep so well, and as we get older, we have a little bit more difficult time falling asleep and staying asleep. I know I do, and you know, a few years back, I kind of chalked it up to just being a mom. I thought, I think this is just how it goes along with being a mom because, um, you know, you're just more hypersensitive to sounds and everything else, and you're always wanting to make sure that your, you know, children are safe and stuff. I mean, oh my gosh, I lost, I have lost so much sleep because of worrying about my children at night. But um, but anyways, what I found was that it's not necessarily that, it's because my levels of melatonin have dropped. So that's why I take an oral melatonin in order to kind of replace and kind of rebalance those levels, you know, in my body. Now the reason that I apply it to my skin is that as I was doing my research, I found out that once your melatonin levels drop, very little melatonin reaches the surface of your skin. And just like on the inside, you know, we need to take care of our skin also by combating free radicals. And so that's what a topical melatonin does. It basically restores melatonin. As a matter of fact, I read that there was um, some recent findings and it was, I don't know how recent it was. It might have been like within the last 10 years or something like that. Uh, the Germans actually found that there were actually melatonin receptors in our skin. And just like in our body, they need to be replenished um, in order to be able to restore and rejuvenate, you know, the skin cells. And so that's why I started taking this topical melatonin because not only does it help to restore and rejuvenate skin cells and stop free radical damage from, you know, destroying our skin, it also helps stimulate fibroblasts. And what fibroblasts are, are cells that produce collagen and elastin. And elastin and as you know as we get older we lose a lot of collagen we lose a lot of elastin so melatonin helps to encourage and stimulate the growth of fibroblasts which are responsible for the collagen and the elastin hello why would i not want to put that on my skin you know i want more collagen and more elastin the one that the last thing that i found out about melatonin is that um applied topically it can actually help to protect against uv damage they did these studies and um, the scientific research just basically proved that topical melatonin helps to defend against UV damage, which I thought was extremely interesting. However, since it's since it's supposed to help you, you know, calm down and go to sleep, I'm not sure that I would use it during the day as a, you know, sun protectant, but that was still interesting. And um, so I just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay guys, so basically there is a lot more to melatonin than it just being a, uh, a natural sleep aid. And, um, you know, through this research, I was just really, really impressed with everything that I found and that I learned about melatonin and how it basically affects just your overall health internally as well as externally. So, um, but I do encourage you to do some of your own research. Um, you know, I don't want you to start any type of, you should never start any type of supplement supplementing without um, discussing it with a healthcare provider or doing some of your own research. I know that there are certain conditions where you should not be taking melatonin. Um, for instance, there are certain autoimmune disorders, there are certain um, medical conditions. If you are pregnant, you should certainly not be taking melatonin. Uh, I, you know, you obviously shouldn't be giving it to kids or anything like that, or, you know, infants. I'm not sure about kids. I didn't I did read some articles where, um, you know, there were kids that had sleeping disorders that they were administering melatonin to. So you definitely need to do your own research. I do not have any credentials. I don't have any, you know, obviously medical background. So all I'm doing, all I am is the messenger. Now it's up to you to do some of your own research before you just start, you know, blindly taking anything. You should never do that. So anyways, um, but let me just tell you real fast because I wanted to mention that I do take five milligrams. This is a five milligram ta tablet. I take one of these tablets every night and then I follow it with half a pump of this melatonin cream and I just put it on my face and my neck. Now, each pump has three grams, three milligrams of melatonin but I only use half a pump, so it's basically, um, you know, one and a half milligrams. So altogether, I'm taking six and a half milligrams. That seems to be the perfect dosage for me. I have in the past taken two of these five milligram tablets before, and it does not work well for me. I get these really vivid, very bizarre dreams. Um, my sleep is not restful because of those dreams. So you really have to find your balance, you know, just like everything, you know, unfortunately we're not all created equal. We do, you know, our bodies, just like skincare, 
um, we respond differently to certain products and stuff. So you really have to find a balance. Sometimes you actually have to find a brand also. I've noticed other brands of melatonin don't work as well for me as this one does, and this is Spring Valley. I'll put everything in the description box below along with some links with some really interesting articles and, um, and just a lot of the information that I found. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a description box so that you can read it rather than you know having to come back and watch the video over and over if you don't want to. So anyways, that's what I take. Six and a half milligrams a night. Seems to work really, really well for me. Um, I have not had any adverse effects whatsoever and I do have an autoimmune disorder, which is hypothyroidism. And um, there are some doctors that say you should, you definitely encourage you to take it if you have hypothyroid and others that don't. Um, from what I've read, and like I said, this is just, I'm just the messenger right here, but you need to do your own research if you have hypothyroidism. Um, from what I've read is that if you are taking Synthroid to balance out your hormones, your hypothyroid, then, um, then taking an oral melatonin is not going to affect the absorption of your Synthroid as long as you're taking it hours apart. And I take my medication in the morning and I take this at night, so I'm not worried about it. I'm not having, like I said, you know, I'm not having any weight gain or, you know, it's not, it's not preventing my thyroid medication from working whatsoever. So, um, so it seems to always, it seems to just be working out well for me. Um, but like I said, if you're hypothyroidism, that doesn't mean it's gonna work out for you. So you need to do your own research, probably consult a doctor. So anyways, hope you guys found this um, video to be interesting. If you liked it, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.